we will edit it anyway. So if we make mistakes or we talk, we just chat for whatever. It's okay. Yeah. We'll, okay, then. Okay. Yeah, we can we can just edit it. I can't. I'm not that clever. No. Well, I'm going to just do a little bit of trickery here and so give, give myself a little bit of a downtown background instead of my living room. Yeah, I got to know that clever. I think I've got something up there. <laughs> I can All right. So, no, um, so we'll get started. Um, it's very casual. You want to tell us a funny story? We're just trying to keep it interesting. Great. All okay. right. So obviously, the BIA involved, evolved before the, the pandemic. So how, how did all that come about? Yeah, I mean, the BIA has actually been in existence in Barrie since 1974. Oh, wow. So it has a long, long history. Um, you know, I, I have colleagues now who who say to me, oh, well, you know, my dad was the, you know, executive director of the BIA in, you know, 1982, you know, like, oh. and I'm like, send me a picture. Wow. Um, there, there's, there's a big history. Um, I mean, as there is in Barrie, of course, and, and the downtown, you know, is really always the heart of any city. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, um, I mean, I think as well, the city has grown so, so quickly, uh, you know, a little bit of that got lost in the expansion, yeah. but, but really, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. It all comes back to, you know, you need your downtown, you need a heart. Yeah. We have the most beautiful downtown in all of Ontario. Um, you know, with the waterfront and our Meridian place yeah. and uh, the square, um, it's just, it's, it's like no other. So, um, yeah, you know, we're just really excited uh, to, uh, you know, to bring that focus back into the downtown and, and yeah. just uh, share that heart with everybody. Yeah, when you first started in 74, the body was a lot smaller then. Yeah. Probably about forty thousand or something people. Yeah. Something. So yeah. we've come up, we've come a long way since then. And uh, so how how's really the BIA? It's evolved to be what now? Yeah. So we, we it's an it's an odd organization that a lot of people don't really understand its structure. You know, um, but but basically we are a local board of council, just as the library would be, or um, or the police, uh, you know, associate, you know, so there's certain local boards. Um, and, and so two council members sit on our board of directors. Uh, the, the, other, the other board members are made up of business representatives. So right. we represent a, a business boundary, if you will, in, in the downtown core. And all of the property owners um, pay a levy. Uh, a, a, an additional levy on top of their municipal tax to fund okay. the BIA, and and so our our mandate is to um, create a space that's beautiful, have events, um, and uh, and yeah, which we can't do right now, um, but you know, really to um, uh, you know to to bring focus to the downtown, attract people, and help our businesses grow. So really, um, for me, being an outsider looking in, I, I, I always looked as a BIA was just about businesses. So it's more than just the businesses, it's the whole area. Yes, and, 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 and in fact, I mean, the businesses ultimately pay for the levy and their rent or their lease, yeah. um, but it's the property owners that, that, that straddle the tax um, as a levy. Uh, and, and so, it, it really is a, a region um, rather than individual businesses in our, in our sort of constitution. Um, and that region is, you know, to make it beautiful, um, to make it active with events, um, you know, to handle th things as waste removal and, you know, parking yeah. issues and, you know, so every, everything to do sort of within that core, sort of outside really what a business association like the chamber would do. Oh, okay. 
There's not much chance of me getting my parking ticket fine revoked, is there? <laughs> I don't have any insides, Ian, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's typical Scots when I forgot to pay and I get a ticket. <laughs> so um, the BIA, um, how would you say that? What, what do you think it actually brings to the residents of Barry? And... Yeah, you know, I, um, so so last year, so I, I've been the executive director for just one year. Coming okay. Up. Um, uh, there was, uh, there was, um, sort of a, a coming of, of the board and, and the executive director. And so a new board and I'm the new executive director of this yes. new sort of mandate. Um, and, uh, um, the first thing we did, cause I, I, I had lots of things on my list, but COVID hit us yeah. and, uh, so, um, you know, 10 days into my brand new job, um, I realized that we had to like help our businesses survive. That was yeah. my main focus. Um, and so we, we also recognized our businesses didn't have like e-commerce abilities. Okay. They had Facebook, they had Instagram, you know, but they didn't have any way to actually transact over yeah. the internet. So we, we, we created a system called the Lifeline where people could buy gift cards to any one of our businesses. Yeah. We'd, we'd flow the money directly to them and the BIA pays the fees. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So and the it's worked well? Yeah, it's gone really well. I mean, it, it's helped a lot of businesses through some pretty dark months. Yeah. You know, um, I, I, um, I, we had a great amount of support from the corporate community over Christmas buying like bulk purchases for their employees. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that so 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 we pivoted really quickly to do that. Um, so that helped our businesses survive. And then um, the next thing that that you know Barry has been asking uh, way before I started is, you know, can we pedestrianize Dunlop Street? You know, we have this new streetscape. Um, it's it's meant for walking and strolling yeah. and going down to the beach. You know, um, can we pedestrianize? So this year um, we we piloted five Saturdays um, and we closed down Dunlop Street. Okay. Um, even in COVID, it was it was still COVID friendly. You know, we had yeah. hand sanitizer and masks, and you know, no singing. And uh, but but uh, um, um, you know, we had we had um, we had over thirty thousand people come over those five that over those five Saturdays. Right. No, it's it's a beautiful street. I mean, I've, I've been down to remember the days when we used to have festivals. And you'd be able to walk down there. It's really nice. So. Yeah. And the waterfront, as you say, Meridian Place, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really good. And I see that there are actually some developments uh, still underway downtown. Oh, this is what we're really excited about because, you know, we know that there's not been a lot of foot traffic you know, to the downtown, as we said, because people, you know, people have other options, right? You know, yeah. there's, there's a north end now and a south end. <laughs> and so, you know, the, the old days of there being, um, you know, the grocery store, the hardware store, you know, in that yeah. downtown. So, so we're in a bit of a transition, you know, we are in a bit of a, um, of a time where we're going from when we had the hardware store, you know, downtown, mm -hmm. um, to you know, um, looking at at, at um, be more modern, if you will, and 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 offering that service offering. So, you know, the new streetscape, um, you know, just went in. And it's just it's absolutely gorgeous and it's complete. Mm -hmm. um, so I just can't wait for the snow to go and uh, and then we can you know have uh, have full exposure. Yeah. Um, but um, but the other thing that's really exciting is like the residential developments that are coming. You know. Yeah. Um, We've got Lack House, which is, I, I, you know, meant to have, um, you know, cranes and shovels in the ground. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Just hold on. <clears throat> sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. 
Um, and then, you know, we've got, uh, we've got the debut condos, um, we've got the residence at five points, uh, hip development, and then the Rivera development that's coming as well, just behind hooligans. So, okay. you know, th these developments, once they come, I mean, the downtown is going to be full of people. Maybe have to build more bars and more <laughs> restaurants. Yes. Yeah, you know, I yeah. seen that there was a building next to Meridian Place that um, started development. I don't know if it stopped, but I believe that was going to be a conference center. Yeah, that big uh, brick building, an old bank it was. Um, yeah, and it just changed hands. So um, the, the, it, it, there's a new owner. Um, and, um, you know, they, I don't know exactly what they have planned, but, but um, they're very exciting. The, the, the new owners of the building, they come up they've, from Toronto, they've got lots of ideas, you know, um, and, and they, they didn't just buy that building, they bought like a lot of them. So they're, you know, they want to be here. They're okay, invested. Okay. Yeah, so. Well, Barry is booming, but I think it's up to about 160,000 people now. So hopefully the downtown, as you say, the downtown is the heart. Yeah. But for even when I was younger, everybody said, where are you going? Well, we were sort of going up the town, but yeah, it's really yeah. downtown. Yeah, downtown, yeah. So your first year, you couldn't have picked a worse year to be your first year. So how was the BIA? You've explained some of it. But it's been a difficult year for the BIA. And you've done a lot of uh, schemes and, and, and tried your best. So what, what exactly, how has it impacted the BIA? Yeah, I mean, I think like our businesses, we just, we, we try to adapt, you know, to service the needs of yeah. our members. Um, we, we do have over 600 members, you know, that, that are within our, our boundary. Right. Um, so, you know, each one of them are unique. Each one of them have different needs. Uh, but, but certainly making sure that our retailers, you know, our front street, you know, our businesses, um we're, we're able to stay alive and make it through this so we still have a downtown when yeah, COVID is cool. over you know um that's that's really been our 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 main focus um and, I don't think uh, you're much time to focus on anything else just no no really. No, exactly. And then, and then when we did open up a little bit, um, like I said, in the summer, we were like, okay, how can we safely get a few more people downtown? Yeah. <laughs> you know? So you've got 600 members, um, and, and, and I don't know this, I'm probably a shit, but what is the boundary? Yeah, I, I, I can share a map with you. Um, it's, um, it, it, it's, it's quite vast. You'd be surprised. It's, it's like from, from Ponzi, like Mulcaster Ponzi, yeah. all the way over to like Toronto Street. Okay. Um, but down around sort of the bay a little bit from that commercial area behind the condos. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Um, yeah, I can send you a map if you if you like. It's you know it is quite it is quite a big boundary. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So it was it's a bit surprising to hear that the amount of members you've got six hundred is a lot of people, and but when you think of downtown, you think of the Street. Yeah. So it encompasses a whole lot more. Yes. You know, that's the main thing. So yeah. what? How do you see as we can hopefully come out of the pandemic? Where can we see? What do you think? the direction the BIA is going to do, where are you going to move it forward? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, I'm like, we are a community, part of a community, you know, and a broader sort of, you know, region. Um, and, 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 and Barry is the epicenter of our region. You know, we, it is the urban center yeah. of Simcoe, Muskoka. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, I mean, our, our goal is to just, yeah, um, reintroduce the city, you know, to a lot of these people who we feel have just moved here, 
Um, maybe they've never been down. You know, they came up from Markham. So they keep going down. They keep going downtown. They've never come uptown. You know, uh. to, you know they've never come uptown to Barry because they keep, you know, so, so what we wanted and how do we do that? Well, we, you know, we do things like open air Dunlop and say, you know, come down to the farmer's market, come walk down, uh, you know, your, your downtown street, pop into like a one of a kind shop, you know, you're not going to find at the mall. It's going to be like somebody who is like part of our community, um, you know, supporting, supporting local is going to be really, you know, key to that. Um, and yeah, just, you know, really uh, invite everybody um, to come and rediscover their downtown or maybe the first time. Well, that, that's for me what, what the big attraction of the downtown. You've got very unique shops. It's, you don't find uh, a winner's downtown. You don't find the bay. But you find shops like Zuzu's and other places like that that are very unique. Yeah. So it, it's a big for me, that's a big attraction anyway. Yes, yes. No, I think it is too for like for like this next generation, you know, um, and especially with people now working from home, you know, yeah. not so many of them are getting on the go train to go downtown, you know, so, so come, you know, come to come downtown Barry and, and, uh, you know, sort of rediscover that, you know, come to that cafe yeah. and, you know. So in this year, when Barry Uncover first started, I first started at, um, nearly three years ago now, uh, and we've been developing and developing. But we first, when we first opened, what it was aimed for, though, was promoting local artists, events, festivals, musicians, uh, things like that. So I'm interested, is there any plans this year for any entertainment downtown? I know it depends on the pandemic, but... Yeah, so we, right now we are planning, you know, exactly um, for for this, and and uh, it, it, it all of our plans sort of are um, unveiled as the zones are unveiled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what, what we do know, though, is that certainly in in the zones that we are now, um, we can close the street and people can come down and enjoy it, and you know, two or three of them can pop into a shop with their mask on safe you know grab a grab something and maybe enjoy the rest of you know the square and the beach and so so uh if if we are you know all get inoculated and vaccinated um then then yes we can roll out some music we can roll out you know the movies and lawn chair luminata again and yeah, you know really um um, and 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 uh, the the other thing we we really want to do is work with our partners um, closer, you know, like work with the city closer, work with tourism Barry and the theater by the bay, and you know maybe maybe we've got enough talent in Barry, you know, we don't need to bring in big bands. We've got just so much here. So how do we just work with our 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 cultural arts partners, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah, there is a lot of good artists. Artists when we featured the theatre in the bay a few times, and Ian does a great job. Um, and one place we always enjoyed, I'm just wondering when that open again, is uh, the outdoor farmers market because you always get the buskers, and you get it was always a fun place to go to. Yes. When do you think that'll be able to open? Yeah, I think the I think the farmers market um is is due to open and and they are running it currently. It's just indoors in yeah. the rotunda. But I think um I think as of April fifteenth, maybe they can go outside. Um, okay. It sort of um coordinates really well with our patio season as yeah. well. So our patios can kind of go out around the same time. And so what we're going to pilot this year, which is a little different from last year, because we only did five Saturdays, um, is we're going to do um, more consistent Saturdays. So uh, it's sort of like from, from you know, the end of, of June until the 1st of September, um, you know, our goal would be to pedestrianize each of those Saturdays. Well, um, to, to sort of create a little bit of a like, oh, it happened last Saturday, I missed it. Oh, but it's happening this Saturday. And oh, it's always on Saturday. And just kind of 
really drawing people down for something on Saturdays because you've got the farmer's market anyways and now we'll have the patios and yeah I look forward to it good (laughs) (laughs) so just um I suppose the question is that we would we want to help and and we really want to help the small businesses we we are a small business we we have we are we have survived barely Hang in there with our fingernails, but how can how can we help the BIA more? Yeah, you know, you know, like you said, um, every one of them is so unique, you know, and so, um, uh, you know, people know what they get at Winners. People know what they get when they go to Starbucks. Um, but people don't know Homestead, uh, people don't know Wired Owl, you know, um, you know, people don't know Zuzu's or Janet Kemp, you know, or, you know, so, so, so it's, it's telling their story, you know, how, how do we, you know, how do we show that they are unique and, and describe, you know, describe how wonderful that is, <laughs> you know, because uh, it, because, you know, a lot of them do need a bit of an introduction, you know, yeah. um, uh, just because they're not, you know, they're not the run of the mill. The, the, the companies we've done, we've been down doing a few, and it's always been good fun. Yeah. And there's, and there's some great characters and, and it's, we've loved it so far. So if, we, if anything we can do and we can help, then we're just please ask. And we're yeah, thank them. you, Ian. Yeah, no, thank you. And, and you know, as open air starts to sort of, you know, reveal itself and, and we can maybe have some of that arts and entertainment, um, you know, yeah, let's connect again, because I think that'll be another good story. Oh, there's, there's one thing about downtown, there's plenty of good stories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you anything else you want to add? Yeah, no, no, just, you know, like I said, thank you um, for uh, spreading the good news. Um, I think our businesses uh, just really need it, especially this year after, well, construction and then oh, COVID. Man. Um, you know, um, I, I, I just really appreciate anything you can do to help raise awareness of how wonderful they are. Well, once people see it, uh, um, I think uh, it'll just build its own momentum. So it's yeah. getting people there the first time sometimes is the hardest thing. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So we hope to, you know, create a bit of a draw this summer and, and create a reason for people to come down. Yeah, that'd be good. A big concert in Meridian Place and we'll be great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, yeah. well, thanks very much, Kelly, for taking the time. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will talk again a lot in the, in, uh, the near future, I'm sure. Yeah. So, Thank you for having me. Oh, for having me. it was a pleasure. I virtually meet you. So. Yeah. yeah.